Greetings, everyone. This is Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, here to bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. In today's video, we check out that certain season 3 episode where Lin doesn't like it when someone else plays the game and gets the fame. Today's episode is titled Hero Today, Gone Tomorrow. First, we'll discuss the plot and then my thoughts and critiques with my final score. So, let's get right into it. In this episode, Margot scores a winning goal during a soccer game, which earns her a lot of praise. And and this makes Lynn very jealous. So Lynn steals Margot's chance to score another winning goal, making everyone pay attention to her like they used to, and having Margot resent what her now ex-friend was trying to do. However, they reconcile during another game while Paula becomes the center of attention after she makes a winning goal, and the episode ends with all three girls celebrating at the Burp and Burger as not just one star and two followers, but as three equal teammates. Well, that concludes the plot of the episode, so now we come to my thoughts and critiques. Just like net gains, this one is tied for my favorite Lin episode of season 3, and in the case of both episodes, the main takeaway is learning to have good sportsmanship with your fellow teammates, and that's what Lin had to once again learn here. Net gains made her realize there is no I in team, and Hero Today, while still kinda reinforcing the same message, tackled the sportsmanship lesson in a different way. For the sake of argument, I'll just take Lin's word by saying she does in fact work the hardest on her team, assuming she makes most of the goals, including the one to win the game and I'll give her the benefit of the doubt when she says she's been the one carrying her team all season. However, unlike net gains where she doesn't want to pass the ball to anyone since the turkey jerkies couldn't play to save their lives, she's seen passing the ball to the rest of the soccer team. Whether you want to credit her sharing the ball as a reminder of learning her lesson from the previous episode, or the girls on her soccer team actually know how to play the game efficiently is neither here nor there. If all of what she's saying and doing is true, and I don't see a reason to doubt any of what she's saying given her character, Character, I can sort of see why she'd be jealous of Margot getting all the attention instead of her. That throbbing neck vein just says it all. Lynn had young fans looking up to her, she probably got special treatment in school based on her MVP status, and being in the spotlight as an influence because of her skills are not things you can just write off as meaningless. She was viewed as a hero one moment, and then suddenly her recognition was gone because someone other than her made a huge win on the soccer field. Anyone could have made that winning goal after Lynn passed them the ball, and they would have gotten the same reaction. The same is true if Lin made the same winning goal during the first half of the plot. As far as we know, Lin's team is fully aware of how good she is, perhaps better than all of them, and they don't mind if she's always in the spotlight as well as being the one to get carried off the field after scoring every winning goal. She and the other girls are always seen working as one cohesive unit, and that's what counts at the end of the day. Of course, it seems like all her talk about being a team player and working together only means something if she comes out as the winner, and it's clear she doesn't like sharing that glory with anyone, so that's where we transition into Margot. There isn't a lot I can say about her since she isn't as defined as other recurring characters, but I will say she is good at what she can do, she can certainly carry herself out on the soccer field, and she definitely deserved the praise for making that winning goal, whether it was a fluke shot or pure skill. I give her a lot of credit for standing up to Lynn and more or less calling her out on how her friend was willing to sabotage her opportunity to win a game just to get the public to once again pay attention to Lynn. You see, if Margot knew Lynn had an opening for a shot, she wouldn't have hesitated to kick the ball to her friend and allowing her to once again bask in the glory of victory, and she wouldn't have gotten jealous about it. Lynn did the right thing by passing the ball to Margot, but unlike Margot, she only started resenting her decision after Margot was seen getting the special treatment she was used to getting. I don't blame Margot for ignoring Lynn's apologies. However, I do commend both girls for what seemed like them throwing away a victory in favor of the other team if it meant reconciling as friends. Making that kind of sacrifice in the name of friendship would have made for a better ending, and it would have been a good character moment for both of them. However, their team still got the big win thanks to Paula, so now we come to some more negatives. I don't know if this counts as breaking the rule of three, but the running gag with Paula talking about how weird things were getting between Lynn and Margot just annoyed me. All but one or two of her lines of dialogue had her saying the word weird at some point, and I don't know if that was supposed to be the joke or an obvious mental note of the tension between her friends, but it really wasn't all that funny as the episode played out. And just like what happened in Net Gains, she's allowed to play soccer while wearing a cast. Still not sure how she can. And yet she's the one who makes the final goal during the last game. So 
did she just hobble over to the ball and kick it? You know, I was willing to accept Paula as a subtle joke in net gains because of how bad her basketball team was, but I saw no reason for her to be out on the field in this episode, and every other future sports episode featuring her for that matter. I bring up the same critique about Paula in every sports episode she's in, and I always have to say it. Her being in that cast is a one-and-done joke that just doesn't work anymore. It's one of those gags that only worked once in net gains, and it should have been left at that. And I completely blanked for a while on this next part, but when I went back and rewatched Paula's win in this episode, her mom said, That's my Paula! So, yes, it turns out Paula's parents are totally cool with their daughter risking bodily harm in activities she shouldn't be partaking in at all. I don't know if that's considered good or bad parenting, so I'll just leave that up to everyone else to decide. Overall, despite my critiques with Paula and thinking the episode should have ended with Lynn's team losing to show how her friendship with Margot was more important than any game, the rest of the episode was really good. It gave some development to both Lynn and Margot, and it taught an important lesson about being a good sport when it comes to recognizing the accomplishments of your fellow teammates. Lynn learned to not be so jealous, and even though she likes to win herself, she won't run the risk of losing a friendship over a chance to be in the spotlight ever again. But we'll see on that last one. With that said, I give Hero Today, Gone Tomorrow a 9.2 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of Hero Today, Gone Tomorrow. What else can be said other than when dealing with most Lynn episodes, there's always a lesson to be learned about being a respectable team player, and this young athlete always has to learn the hard way. But we still love her all the same. Well, sometimes. So, as far as this episode goes, what did you guys think of it? Love it? Hate it? Something you would add? Change? Keep it as it is? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest Loud House content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.